David, it's time for the game of the day. Game of the day. And it's only fitting that I would create a supermarket sweep theme game for you to play. Now, for over 1,000 episodes, you gave out many facts and clues to help the contestants guess a countless number of grocery store products. Well, today, we're going to see how well you do when the checkout counters are turned, because I'll be giving out the facts and clues to help you guess the grocery store products. It's time to play the Bradley Clark radio version of the bonus sweep. The bonus sweep. Oh, goody. And here's how the game works. Before you actually get to the bonus sweep, we have to know how much time will be on the clock. You'll have a base time of 45 seconds, but you can earn up to 45 seconds more by first playing the question round. I'm going to name two products you'll find in a supermarket. Then I'll ask you three questions, with the answer to each being one of those two products. For every correct answer, I'll add five seconds to your bonus sweep time. You'll play three sets of products for a total of nine questions. Now, once the question round is over, I'll add the extra seconds you earn to the clock, and that is the amount of time you'll have during the bonus sweep. But I'll tell you more about the bonus sweep when we get to it. So, David, are you ready to play? Yes, sir. Then let's play the bonus sweep. And to earn up to 15 additional seconds, here are the first two products you'll be dealing with. Oreo cookies or Barnum's animal crackers. Those are the two items. And here's your first question. This product was first sold the same year that the Titanic sank. Animal crackers. It was actually oh. Oreos. 1912. Wow. No need to worry, though. There are still plenty more questions and plenty more seconds to earn. David, here comes your next question. The packaging of this product was originally intended to be a Christmas ornament. Ooh. I'm going to go animal crackers again. And you would be right. That is correct. Yeah, I remember seeing those packages. Good. I got five seconds. You did indeed get five seconds. And by the way, the animal crackers boxes, how they turned into a Christmas ornament, they would have the ribbon on the top. Brad fact. Yeah. All right. Here comes your last question for these two items. The fudge covered version of this product was first introduced in 1987. It's got to be Oreos. It's got to be Oreos. Correct. Yeah, all right. So for those two items, you earned 10 seconds. Yay. Here comes your second duo of products. Hershey's Kisses or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And David, here comes your first question. This candy was wrapped individually by hand for its first 14 years. Kisses. Hershey's Kisses is correct. Yay. Your second question. The original version of this candy was called the Wilbur Bud. I'm guessing Hershey Kisses again. Will you be guessing correct? Yay! And the Wilbur Bud was invented in 1894 by Henry Oscar Wilbur. Brad fact! Wow. And here comes your final question. There is a kind of cereal based off of this candy. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That is correct. Reese's Puffs is the cereal. You earned all 15 seconds you could possibly earn that round, meaning you're up to 25 additional seconds total. And here are your last two products to earn 15 more seconds. Hostess Twinkies and Rice Krispies Treats. And here is your first question, David. This product was included in the Millennium Time Capsule. Twinkies. That's correct. Yay, it's an icon. Second question. A Campfire Girls troop leader is credited for bringing this product to light. I think that's got to be the Rice Krispies treats. And I think you got to be right. That's right. Oh! Mildred Day was the name of the inventor of the Rice Krispies treat, and she was a Campfire Troop Girls leader. Brad fact! And your final question. This product was first made by the same company who originally made Wonder Bread. Twinkie. Twinkie is correct! Hey, hey, I only missed one out of all those? You only missed one out of nine. Wow. And by the way, the company who originally made Wonder Bread was called the Continental Baking Company, and that later merged with Hostess Brands. Brad fact. Wow. 
You earned 15 seconds for that duo of products, which means you have a total of 40 additional seconds. Now put that together with your base of 45 seconds. And David, you have a total of 1 minute and 25 seconds for the bonus sweep. All right, David, it's time for the bonus sweep. Now during the question round, you earned an additional 40 seconds of time. So you'll have a total of 1 minute and 25 seconds to complete the bonus sweep. For the bonus sweep, just like on The Real Show, I'm going to give you a rhyming clue to a supermarket product. Now, the last word of the clue's first part will always rhyme with the product name. But, of course, the end of the clue will have a blank. For example, you might be hippin' and hollerin' if your bathroom's toilet paper holder has no more. And the answer is Charmin. After I read each clue, if you know what the product is, go ahead and say it. But if you don't, feel free to say pass. Now, David, if you can correctly name five products in one minute and 25 seconds or less, you'll be deemed a bonus sweep winner. Are you ready? Yep. All right, 125 is on the clock. Keep in mind there are only 16 total clues, so use your passes wisely. And once again, you need five correct answers to win. Time will not start until I finish reading the first clue. Good luck. For the hungry kids at the breakfast table, this should be the trick. Make a stack of pancakes using... Bisquick. Correct. If you want your cuts and scrapes to fade, make sure to cover them up with a... Band-Aid. Correct. Your teeth will certainly look their best if you brush them using... Crest. Correct. To make an edible ring for your pinky toe, just open up a box of Honey Nut... Cheerios. Correct. Playing soccer got me grass stains on my socks, so to get them out, I used... Clorox? Clorox is correct! David, you have just won the bonus sweep! Yay! Oh, that was five? That was five! You got it! Oh, I've got an extra 25 seconds. Start me on state capitals. <laughs> you actually have another 50 seconds or so. Do you want to keep going? Oh, sure. All right, here we go. While they're in the toaster, time goes by slow because you're craving a waffle made by... There go. Correct. The smell of my hair you'll really love, especially since I washed it with... Dove. Correct. After hurting yourself during a fall to relieve the pain you might take... Underwear isn't flying into the hampers, but instead you're throwing out all of your babies. Pampers! Correct. On a cold day when the ground is full of snow, have a hearty bowl of soup that's labeled... Pass. I quit drinking Pepsi, but with all of my might, I just can't stop drinking... Pepsi Light? Incorrect. A salad spinner is probably what you own if you keep buying dressing with the label. Wishbone. Wishbone is correct, and time is up. Very good. You got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine. Very good. Wow. How much money do I win? Well, I wish I could say $5,000. At least I didn't embarrass myself in the final round. That's true. Let me go back to the ones that you missed. After hurting yourself during a fall, to relieve the pain, you might take Tylenol. Oh, Tylenol. Yeah, okay. On a cold day when the ground is full of snow, have a hearty bowl of soup that's labeled Progresso. And the final one, I quit drinking Pepsi, but with all of my might, I just can't stop drinking Sprite was the answer to that one. Oh, Sprite. Oh, okay. But congratulations, David. You have proved that you're not only a great supermarket sweep host, but you can battle with the best Supermarket Sweep contestants as well and win a Supermarket sweep theme game. Thank you, Bradley. And just as a side note, the gal who used to do cue cards on our show for a number of seasons was Alex Trebek's daughter. And one day at a break, we were just, you know, talking. And she said that for fun, her dad, Alex Trebek, would play the qualifying round because you have to play the game before you get on the show so they know you're not going to be a doofus when the show actually films. And Alex, occasionally for fun, would take the qualifying rounds with potential contestants and he would always skunk them. He's that good at trivia. 
I just always found that fascinating because I enjoy Jeopardy, and he would be really good at it. Well, I certainly believe it, especially since Alex says he knows a lot of the material used on Jeopardy. Well, David, congratulations on winning the game, and thanks for playing the bonus sweep. The bonus sweep. <laughs>